Oh, he's the beekeeper thing. But what's it with all the bees then? It's so confusing and complicated. Oh, it's time for more WandaVision. I'm so excited. Hi everyone, welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle in Minneapolis. I'm a huge movie buff who has seen pretty much everything. I even worked at a video store for a few years, but somehow I skipped over an entire genre of movies. So I created this reaction channel where I react to action, superhero movies, and now TV shows that I'm viewing for the first time, mostly in order to understand the inside jokes and references in my ultimate viewing of WandaVision. And here we are at more episodes, episodes three and four. I had paused a bit after episodes one and two because apparently, I didn't know this, but I needed to watch two more of the X-Men movies. So um, yeah, I finally watched uh, First Class, which I didn't love, and then um, X-Men Days of Future Past, which I thought was really great. So glad to finally have a decent X-Men movie because I have thought that they were really bad. So uh, other than this one, so yeah, so I'll, I'll try and remember to put links up in the corner. So if you want to see those, um, those reactions because those are fun uh, so i'm all caught up and ready to watch more wandavision episodes um, after the first two i didn't really have any idea what was going on so i'm hoping for a little bit more of a clue in these next two episodes although i do remember a similar show sensate where the characters are kind of like sucked into the situation that they don't really know what's happening to them either they didn't even start to get like an inkling of what was happening to them until like about episode six so maybe we don't, won't know for a little while, but that's okay because I'm, I'm interested enough and I'm enjoying it enough to just want to keep watching and figure out what's going on. I have my Buffy the Vampire Slayer t-shirt on, which won 18% of the vote in my what t-shirt would be good for WandaVision poll. So thank you again to all of those of you, of you who voted. Um, and then, yeah, right before we get started, please support my channel by subscribing so I can get monetized and old lady can feed Carrie, Katy Perry more friskies because they ain't cheap. Um, also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. That really does help with, with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. So let's dive deeper into WandaVision. I'm glad we get it previously on because it's been like two weeks, so. Can you read me something? Okay, someone said I should be paying attention to who the, to the voice on the radio that I might recognize it, but nothing yet oh that's right it ended with this guy <laughs> oh look at the hair on them i love it oh my gosh <laughs> God, the theme songs are awesome i love the car oh my gosh definitely pregnant <laughs> That's so Brady Bunch right there with the staircase going up. I love that. <laughs> we let the little ladies keep tabs on their growing babies with fruit. Makes it simple for them. At four months, the what? fetus is about as big as a oh, I see at five. Well, I think this line of questioning is fruitless. <laughs> <laughs> love her dress. Well, I have nerves of steel, so there goes your theory, Mr. Dodson. <laughs> you do have nerves of steel, okay. God, even the flooring is great. Oh my gosh. I think you might have taken the hedge trimming a little too far there, old chum. <laughs> I don't know that a hedge trimmer would go through concrete, but okay. Even if it was painted a hideously color of 70s yellow. Gold, I should say. To be a proud papaya. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, we ought to decide soon. I estimate the baby's due. Not a constant progression, assuming the logarithmic, but were I to grow. Yeah, they got about three hours? Far. He's gonna be here before you figure it out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Let's abandon the kitchen! <laughs> Her power is freaking out. I think something's wrong here, Wanda. Yes, I know what you mean. Oh. The truth. Well, we're so we skipping back and forth in time. <laughs> that was a weird moment of lucidity in their in their comedy. Uh oh, <laughs> the water broke. My water just broke. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> Calgon. Hydro soak. Find the god. <laughs> Hydro soak. 
Oh dear. Somebody might have already left for vacation. What? At a time like this? Well, in fairness, darling, the baby is approximately nine months early. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a goose. Or is it a stork? <gasps> oh shoot. I'm gonna say what's the what are the neighbors gonna think all of a sudden she's well, okay then. Nice eyeshadow. Just here under the sea. <laughs> she's even bigger now. Does her pants have fish on them? Well, my boss, Mr. Haddix, he was going crazy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> It is a stork. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, man. she can't <laughs> can't brush it away. You know me, Wanda. I keep my cool no matter what's going down. So I <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna lose your cool. Maddox's feet floating. Oh, cause they're fish. <laughs> That's cute, actually. Do y'all still keep those in your spare room? Because I was hoping you wouldn't mind no, sharing with no, your no. friends. <laughs> oh. So long as we hurry. Oh, <laughs> the wife's going, but what then, the hell? What about my brand new two piece? <laughs> she gonna destroy the whole house. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, I, th I thought I read somewhere that she had twins. <sighs> so the friend just went with the fact that like yesterday she wasn't pregnant and now she's got two babies. And the doctor's just like, yeah, whatever, this is normal. So hard to escape. escape. <laughs> An interesting statement. Okay. I sucked into some <laughs> small town weirdness. It reminds me of the Truman Show, that part of it. Is Geraldine inside with Wanda? Why would that be bad? I'm a twin. I had a brother. Were they twins? Because, um... Uh, it's in the in X Men Days of Future Past. It looks like he's she's sitting on his lap, and he's like a teenager, and she's a like maybe eight. So maybe they just changed that to make them he twins. He was killed by Ultron, wasn't he? How does she know that? No home. No home. What is is she there to help? Wanda get out or something? What do you mean? What is that on her necklace? She came here because we're all- Stop it! What's going on? It's so tense, oh my gosh. What's happening? Is we're all actors? What is going on? Where did Geraldine, Geraldine? go? What? <laughs> like the whole screen shape is shifting. That's so weird. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> I'm still saying it over and over and over again. What's going on? <laughs> okay. Okay, so that song was Daydream Believer, which might be an interesting clue there too. Yeah, I still have no idea what's going on. So we're just going to jump right into the next episode. <laughs> Geraldine. Wanda. Who is that? Wanda. Still not recognizing that voice. So is this some kind of leftover thing of her thing with Ultron? So I know they had that scene of like her trying to figure out what was in his brain and he was saying, oh, I, you're wondering why you can't read my mind. And so every, you know, in time all men reveal themselves. I, who knows? Mm. Okay. So she, this is now what, after the, oh, everybody's just coming back. So uh, she came back after the blip. The cancer came back. Yeah, it's been five years. <laughs> oh dear. Maria died three years ago. Yeah, this will, I, was, I can imagine how hard it would be for like these people, the people who came after the, who came back. It would be weird, like almost impossible to understand. But I'm, it's cool that we get like a normal person's view of, of what? Well, no, it's almost Monica Rambo's not. She's not super normal person, but I mean, she's not like a superhero or anything. Listen, Monica, I just want. Those are nice boots. She implemented guidelines in the event vanished personnel ever returned. 
Oh, interesting. <laughs> it is interesting that they had some plans in case they came back. None of them have ever heard of him. Something seemed hinky to me, mm -hmm. so I took the first flight out of Oakland to... Why haven't you gone inside to investigate? Because it doesn't want me to. Did not let you in? Nobody's supposed to go in. That's weird. <laughs> oh, that was a drone. Captain Rambo! Okay. <laughs> this is like all of a sudden way more complicated than I thought it was going to be, but okay. What's happening? Hmm. I suppose there's that thing from the tower that it, what was that in the Thor Dark World? Where they were throwing the shoes and they disappear and come back? Okay. That I do remember as much as I'd like to forget those first two Thor movies that I didn't like that much. They just keep sending drones in and they keep disappearing. What kind of data are you getting? I'm afraid that's highly classified. So nothing. <laughs> so is this the first time that we've seen S.W.O.R.D.? Or did I forget about it? They... Is the same thing going to happen if they cross that one particular line? He's dead, right? Not flipped. Dead. Would she know that though? Like, how does she even know what Vision is? Is it authentic? I'm not sure how to answer that. Yeah, <laughs> authentic is, what does that mean? So you're saying the universe created a sitcom starring two Avengers? Does everyone know who all of the Avengers are? Maybe I could get that coffee now? Yeah, someone bring her some coffee for God's sake. Oh, this, there she is. It's a sitcom, a 1950s sitcom. But why? I was going to say that that why sitcoms question seems like an important thing. The next time she's washing dishes, which by my count happens about once an episode, barf. <laughs> barf. But how did it change and why? Let's go with the production design. Oh. Or render it Interesting. Useless. Why'd you colorize it? I didn't. So they're figuring out they can send things in. Oh, it's so odd. Uh, radio on the side table. Start talking. Oh, that is him. Who's doing the sea, Wanda? Wanda, can you hear me? Is someone doing it to her or is she doing it? Oh, he's the beekeeper thing. But what's it with all the bees then? It's so confusing and complicated. Oh, oh and he's not even going to realize. Okay, so he's in there now, So, but where did he end up for the next episode? So somehow, whoever's creating this just made it make sense. Like, whatever they had to adjust it to to make it make sense. You want any? Heck, I thought about it for sure. A little Jimmy Woo. Get him a tiny little FBI badge. She, oh, yeah, yeah I was say, she was talking about the chips. What a twist. I'm... But I'm invested. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda. So suddenly they're not, not on a set being recorded. They're... You're definitely not my friend. You. And you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Did she know she could do that? I guess that's the question too. Like if, if it's her and she's like creating all of this, does she know that she's creating all of it? Where is Geraldine? Oh, she left. <laughs> so they know now that they can get in. <gasps> oh, that's how he looked when he died. I have everything under control. Okay, so I think it is, it is her doing it. <sighs> it's so weird. <laughs> One of the things I'm realizing about the MCU, as opposed to like the X-Men and the Batman movies and others that have not necessarily been as successful, is that the MCU knows how to like meet out information slowly in order to get you sucked in and heighten the dramatic tension of either the episode or the movie. They're not afraid to leave the audience totally confused, but with a little nugget of info that lets you know that, you know, don't worry, we've got it in hand. Just come along with us and we think you'll enjoy it because we enjoy it too. Um, I feel like they have confidence in their storytellers 
And then their storytellers have confidence in them, in Marvel Studios, that they're going to be allowed to tell their whole story over time. Like they don't have to throw every single villain and plot point into the first 30 minutes and give away details of what's really going on because they might get canceled at, at any minute or not even get picked up at all and never get to make anything. Um, that's a business model we can thank streaming for uh, because they don't participate in this whole like pilot season concept of creating television. Um, you know, they don't require writers to stuff in as much as they can into the first episode in order to get the business people to think that it's going to sell to the lowest common denominator mass audience or something. Um, streaming companies mostly like look at a write up or of an idea or they'll sit down with the creators and if they like what they hear, they, they're basically like, OK, here's however many millions of dollars. Go make an entire season of 10 to 12 episodes. Let us know when you're done. You know, and then the creators know then that they can take their time to create a proper storytelling arc over the course of a season. And WandaVision is a huge benefactor of that way of creating entertainment. It, it's been two and a half hours of story so far or so. And we haven't even cracked the surface of what's really going on, you know, it's, but they're so good at building the mystery and tension that it almost, it doesn't even matter what's really going on. Like, I'm just enjoying the ride, you know, but yeah, I, I don't have too much to say about the specifics of the episodes because I'm still not sure what's going on. Um, it's great though to see Kat Dennings and that callback to that weird portals thing in Thor, that was in Thor Dark World, right? That's pretty cool. But that was like 10 years ago for Pete's sake. Like, it's so wacky that they can like that these continuity things that from years and years ago. Um, and then I thought it was super, a super cute touch that Jimmy Woo like gets his little, uh, his business card out with a magic trick. Um, cause he said in, in Ant-Man and the Wasp that he wanted to learn magic. Um, so he's clearly been working on it. That's really, I was just a cute, those little touches like that are what makes such great t stories. So yeah, and it seems weird to me that Agnes, don't roll over and knock it over, please. Katie's like right here. She's got to have her attention. Yes. Hi. Yes, I'm talking about you. Hello. Hi. Pretty girl. I know. It's almost dinner time, so mama's almost done. Um, and it seems weird to me that Agnes and Herb like seem to know what's going on, but do they really? Like, or do they just think that Geraldine is weird? I, you know... <laughs> There's just so many questions still. <laughs> like it's, it almost seems too pointless, to, pointless to go too deep uh, into them at this point. So I'll just wait until the next couple episodes and see if things clear get up get uh, get cleared up at least a little bit. So thanks so much for watching my reaction to the third and fourth episodes. Um, it's still mostly just confusion, but that's okay. Uh, please take a moment to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the bell button to be notified when I post the next episodes. I appreciate all your comments and recommendations and arguments and corrections when I screw up the facts. And I love when you guys start arguing with each other in the comments. That's super fun. Thanks for watching with me and Katie. Oh, there she goes. You're going? Okay. Say goodbye. Da, homecoming queen.